Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We've been tracking this area of rain west of us all morning long. It is now just outside of Wayne County, Indiana, and even some of that rain getting into Wayne County. The lightning strikes have been most numerous on the southern end of this line, so our northern counties, Mercer County, Dark County, you're likely just going to have some steady rain move in as it continues to weaken a little bit. And then down across the south, we have some of those heavy downpours and thunder and lightning rolling already into Wayne County, Indiana. That will continue to drop south and east. So the southern half of the Miami Valley will pick up some of the heavier downpours and the potential for the lightning. Rain chances will continue through the first part of the day. So even up to lunchtime, we may see some showers and storms in the area. Then from noon to about 4 p.m., it does look like a nice break. So most of the afternoon is dry. And then we'll get some isolated activity going again as we head towards 5 o'clock. Highs get into the upper 80s, close to 90 today. So uh, if you wanted to head out to the patio, the best time would be between noon and 4. But it's going to be very humid through that time. Our dew points are way up this morning in the upper 60s. Lima, Dayton, Cincinnati, and then just off to our west, dew points are in the 70s, even 74 in Terre Haute. So that's miserable levels of humidity. And we're going to see our dew points up right around 70 this afternoon. So anytime dew points are above 60, it feels more humid. And when they get close to 70, that is oppressive levels of humidity. So that's what we have to look forward to today. If you are heading out to do some yard work, we have those scattered showers and storms, which may slow you down, not just today, but all week long. It's going to be an active week. We're coming off of a dry stretch, but now we're getting into that time where we have those showers and storms possible at any point during the day, but none of the days will be a washout. Future track shows a mix of sun and clouds to start the day around lunchtime. A little more cloud cover from those showers and storms, which still could be impacting some. The models haven't handled the morning rain very well. Here's 5 p.m. We'll see new development, isolated showers, thunderstorms get going. And then we have a complex developing west of us that will roll in this evening into the overnight hours, coming through with some heavy rain and even gusty wind possible at 9, 10 o'clock. Then that will move out of the area during the nighttime. We're back to dry weather tomorrow morning, but we do expect additional showers and thunderstorms to develop tomorrow afternoon. Here's your forecast today. We're up to 88, hot, humid with scattered showers and the chance of a thunderstorm too. Overnight, we're down to 70 showers, thunderstorms a little more likely tonight. Tomorrow, we're up to 87, still humid with more showers and thunderstorms possible. In your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, this pattern continues Wednesday, mid 80s, chance of some showers and storms. Thursday, the rain chance is a little bit lower. It's still going to be pretty warm and humid. And then Friday into the upcoming weekend, we get more rounds of showers and thunderstorms.